Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and today's segment is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats, events that have happened in the last 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. Talking about the new launches this week, IBM launches Watson AI Ops at the Think India Digital Conference 2020. As COVID-19 forces a record number of people to work remotely, networks are stretched, supply chains are strained, and we are all more vulnerable to outages. With IBM's new AI-powered solutions, one can automate their IT infrastructure and reduce costs. This product helps enterprises detect, diagnose, and respond to IT problems in real time. Absolute Data launches AI-based COVID-19 toolkit. to navigate through these changing times. Absolute Data is a leading analytics and data science services company. Its COVID-19 toolkit includes three solutions. The first one is Ask Navik. It's an AI-powered virtual assistant that provides instantaneous answers to critical business questions by pulling information from dashboards, databases, and documents. Navik Signals It helps answer questions on how consumers will think, feel and act after the COVID-19 crisis is over and the COVID-19 SWOT team. It helps to quickly develop dashboards and custom models for the current COVID impacted environment. In further launches, Facebook AI Research launches Blender, a human-like chatbot. Facebook claims that Blender is the largest ever state-of-the-art open domain chatbot model. It said that the chatbot can outperform other models in terms of engagement and can also feel more human. The company has also released a blog post stating that this is the first time a chatbot has learned to blend several conversational skills, including the ability to assume a persona, discuss nearly any topic, and show empathy in natural 14-turn conversation flows. On the other hand, Google launches TensorFlow Runtime for its TensorFlow machine learning framework. According to a recent blog post, TensorFlow Runtime aims to provide a unified, extensible infrastructure layer with best-in-class performance across a wide variety of domain-specific hardware. It provides efficient use of multi-threaded host CPUs, supports fully asynchronous programming models, and focuses on low-level efficiency. TFRT is also responsible for efficient execution of kernels, low-level device-specific primitives on targeted hardware, and it also plays a critical role in both eager and graph execution. In some other news, Indian voice AI startup Vernacular raises 5.1 million dollars from Xfinity Ventures and Kalari Capital. The fresh capital will be used to fund the company's global expansion into Southeast Asia and the US towards research and development to further enhance its proprietary AI-based voice automation platform. Now, Vodafone Idea customers can resolve their queries using an AI-based bot on WhatsApp. This AI-powered chatbot called VIC provides superior service for its customers during the pandemic. The bot will be supported by WhatsApp, thereby addressing the concern of every customer with ease. However, the bot is available on the company's website, My Vodafone and My Idea mobile application. In some international news, Tokopedia, an Indonesian-based e-commerce company, has exposed vulnerability to personal data through data breach. The breach comes at a time when e-commerce has become an essential need as people opt for online shopping during the COVID-19 pandemic. New sellers on Tokopedia, particularly in the personal health category, have seen a 250% surge, while business research and consultancy firm Inventure Indonesia categorizes e-commerce as one of the few sectors to benefit from social distancing. That's it for today on News of the Week. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for weekly updates. See you soon. Bye.